Welcome to the More Than Just Dumbbells <laughs> podcast. My name's Jason Lindsay. My name's Kitty Drew. Why are you laughing, Kitty? Because you were breathing. Oh, That's funny. Oh, <laughs> yay. Why is that funny on this episode today? Well, our episode today is about breath work. You know, so, which you know a lot about, I think. I, I would say I know more than you. Well, so does everybody. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I know nothing about breath work. I know, I, well, okay, I take that back. When you made me meditate, no, when I chose to meditate, I did make you meditate. You're kind absolutely of, right. Kind of. <laughs> I got into it a little bit, and I, I think it's, I think it's one of those things, for me, like stretching. Ah. I think that I know that it's, it's like you don't, if you don't do it, you're not gonna die, you're not gonna, you know, life goes on. Yes. But life would be better, perhaps. Yes. If I could touch my toes. Sure. And in this case, breathe. Breathe more deeply. Maybe understand it. So Consciously. You're going to have to kind of coach me down this path, maybe sell me on it. You want me uh, to sell you on breath work here? Yeah. I, it, so let, let me I'll start with this question. Okay. Is there one, if somebody says define breath work, is there one definition? I would say breath work by definition, do not quote me on this, but to put it in broad terms would be to consciously, intentionally connect with your breath and your breathing patterns. <clears throat> because we, we as humans, right, we breathe very shallowly. And I remember in the uh, Zeko Powell, Zico Powell, um, do you remember that potato, episode? Potato, potato, yeah. The episode that we had, yeah. he was actually talking about breath work yeah. with us. And he was telling us how we breathe really shallow. We just breathe in our diaphragm. Whereas when we begin to bring it into our belly, it becomes much more intentional. And that intention, that conscious connection to your breath actually stops your brain from being monkey mind and brings you into a state of relaxation. I, and I'm, I'm probably doing it in the microphone. It's annoying, Dan. But I, it, it, <laughs> it, it is one of those things where I, I, I guess I, I mean, I, I, it shouldn't be hard to sell me on it. And it's not. It's, I'm not not sold. I just never think about doing it. Absolutely. And, and We've I, never been taught. And I think I need to really take this seriously, not just this episode, which this episode of One Just Dumbbells, which is powered by, sponsored by. Power Block. Check out, check out powerblock.com to get the world's best adjustable dumbbell. And adjustable kettlebells all as built, well. All built different and all built uh, built for different shapes and sizes. Built and to last, too. You can find something for you at powerblock.com for Ooh, show. That was a good, was gonna a be, good radio voice. Going to be dope. Going to be dope is right. So, so here's the thing, though. The... Uh, if what is where's a good place to start or I, sure. mean, I don't know where you want to start but like when i i like what should i be doing then okay. should i should i if i don't want to meditate okay you don't i can have to still meditate. think about this is work. a form of meditation okay. because you're taking yourself out of your mind and into your body so if i do breath work mm -hmm. like you're going to go over here can i consider it meditation i would because i don't like sitting there in the dark thinking of not things i would if i were you paying <laughs> so, paying conscious intentional uh, attention okay to anything right. is a form of meditation whether it be working out and really paying attention yeah, to your body your yeah. muscles that's a form of meditation as well uh, to right. me to me at least dig it yeah yeah so breath literally equals life right you can't live without breathing we need oxygen so breath work is kind of like infusing your life with more life okay does that make sense it does sort of so you've heard of fight or flight Mm -hmm. Fight, flight, freeze, yeah. correct? So your parasymp parasympathetic nervous system is what is on when you are in fight or flight. And and I'm going to bring up uh, sexual you're encounters not, right not, now. You're Hold not on. Gonna, I thought you were going to go Rittenhouse. Sorry. Here, so I'm going to bring up, you know, I, I don't know if, if you've ever done this, but when you're with a woman or when you are in the heat of the moment and all of a sudden the breath is like, <sighs> that sucks. That is not the way you should be going at it. You, in the moment, that actually sets you into fight or flight. It sets you into trauma response. So when you are shallowly breathing like that, mm. you are actually aiding in trauma or shutting your body down. Does that make sense? I'll make a prediction that I've never read the book, but any tantric sex book is probably going to teach you the opposite. It's going to teach right. you intentional breath work, Got right? Yeah. So yeah. to start... Where would you start? I would start with, and this is where I started with, was abdominal. Just like what Powell told us. Where Zico, instead Zico. of breathing into your lungs, you actually intentionally breathe into your belly. Or down to what's called the root or the sacral chakra. So trying to take four breaths in and okay. then four breaths out. In through the nose and exhale. So that's just one thing you can do. 
And that's actually stimulating your vagus nerve to relax. So if you're ever in a moment where you're like, F this, F that, F her, F him, F them, stop and never, just never. Never. I'm I'm talking right to you, Jay. Right to you. Using this to actually bring your breath into your abdominal area. I don't know. I'm not in touch with that emotion. Anyway, no, go, not go. at all. I bet. Hey, none, none of us are. P.S. <laughs> so abdominally, you, you use it to relax. So that's one of the things. It's meant to immediately relax you because it is an all natural way of relaxation. So and it's four, always four available. belly breaths. Belly. Four, yeah, so like, like if you have anxiety. Sure. Boom. Absolutely. I have anxiety. Yes. And this is something I do with Ryan, who is very anxious as well. I will grab his hand and we will breathe Especially together. On Sundays. <clears throat> that as well. Yes, when the Vikings are playing. I'll grab his hand and we will just breathe together. And it kind of takes him out of his and brings him into the moment. Cons- and that's what this conspire, is all about. Conspire, you say? Yeah. Conspire means breathe together. So, hey, d- uh, conspiracy. Yeah. Think about that. N- yeah, wow. No, I know. Okay, that's pretty Conspire cool. Conspire means breathe together. For real, look it up. Hey, wow. Hey, real quick, I, cool. I, I, I'm not, this. we're going to yeah, keep going with this, but I, I, I'll forget otherwise. Dan, talk about um, talk about the NFL player, the, the, the Bronco guy that died, 33-year-old aneurysm. Oh, were, yeah. you, were you a big fan? He sounds like a, oh, yeah. a heck of a player. Yeah, huge fan. Yeah, very rarely do I ever actually get, you know, like emotional or choked up when I yeah. hear about, you know, celebrity passing and stuff like that. I'm pretty detached. But I was actually pretty shook up about really? that. Yeah, Demarius 33. Thomas. He was retired yeah. at 33 years old, had a 10-year career. Not, probably not quite a Hall of Fame career, but a career that you would say is very successful, right? Oh, yeah. And played with some greats, including Peyton Manning. Sure. But that's not why I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up because, and I'm not suggesting that the majority of football players aren't good human beings. They're probably a majority are. But man, this guy's got, I mean, nobody could say anything bad about him. Yeah. Yeah. He was I mean, a- I'm the opposite of that. Like it was, you know, I mean, he was probably, he did all kinds of things. And, and I was so, I yeah. mean, in, death in, in general, it sucks at that, at any, you know, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, did you know him as a humanitarian? Did you know the stuff that he did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was very um, heavily published, you know, throughout, you know, the Denver Chronicles and stuff like that, you know, about the stuff that he would do for charity yeah. and all those wow. types of things. So, yeah. Yep. De- Demer- what was his name? Demarius Thomas. Gone but not forgotten. Yep. Um, so, if I'm in the car driving and I'm nervous or anxious about something, I can do the belly breaths and yes. it'll calm me down. I do them Every single time but I'm on my sh- way here. Can you help me? Should I be thinking about breath down to my, my belly? Absolutely. Think about your belly inflating. It, yeah, one big ab. It yep, just makes one it big bigger. Ab. Yeah. Just think about the bubble of your belly inflating. Yeah. And then think I, about pushing do. that out. Right. So inhale through your nose and try to exhale through your mouth. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Inhale. Well, that's weird. And that audible breath is actually you releasing energy. I don't even know if I can. I'm going to take some practice. Well, that kind sounds, of like you're... Sounds like, like you're going to die When, when we're in the snow and we're writing on windows and you have to and kind of write something. You this, know what I'm trying to say? Is this a hobby of yours? This, I, it's, it's a Minnesota winter thing, I guess. No, I, no? I never, I never tipped a no. cow either. So. <laughs> That's... So I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, I've peed you, in the snow. Well, who hasn't? Don't <laughs> okay. eat yellow snow. That's the I can, tip my uncle I can get most me. of my name. Depends on how much I've had. There you go. There you go. So anyway, it's all about literal presence. It's about being present to your breath, being yeah. present to your okay. body, Dig and it. it's a it's it brings you into a deep mind state. Do you do this? Are you doing? Do you do this even if you're not anxious? Do you do this every day? I do, I At do. Different times throughout the day. I is will it? hold one hand on my chest and one hand on my belly, and I will intentionally watch my hand come up and then my hand come. So what I I mean, you can add it any way into your ritual, whatever works. You can do it during the day while you're making breakfast. You like you said, you can do it on the way to work. You can do it when you are doing a bathroom break. Take three big deep breaths while yeah. you're going to the bathroom. Yeah. Like it can be put in. It's always available and it's free. I'm just Thank you for the day. Three big deep breaths with gratitude and on your way. Done. What what's the gratitude towards? Anything. Okay. Gratitude for my breath, the the movement in my limbs, the yeah. breakfast I get to have, the sunshine outside. I usually, yeah, no, I, that's all. Those are all good reasons. I usually like, most of my gratitude is just that I'm alive. That's there you a, go. That's enough. Hey, that's a good place to start. All, people die all the time. Good place we to just start. talked about a guy that shouldn't be dead. And yeah, exactly. Uh, so Chopra, have you had heard of Deepak Chopra? <laughs> Deepak Chopra. I, I, I've, I have a lot of things I can say about Deepak Chopra. Do you, I don't know if you want to hear them. Well, I probably wouldn't want to hear yours, but I did go to Chopra.com to look deeper into breath work. He's, he's a little. He's a very big pioneer of okay. this, this kind of stuff. Um, he's a bit of a fraud, a bit of a quack. But well, yeah, okay. To each their own, right? Yeah. 
the things that he says about breath work and that other people have said as well, not just Chopra, but yeah. I'm just using his, him as yeah. a source, it actually increases focus, increases the mm. clarity of your mind, increases your conscious awareness of yourself. Yeah. And I think that's where anxiety is, is you're living in the future. What's yeah. next? What's next? What's next? Instead of living right now, which they call it the present because I know this is going to sound stupid, but it is a gift. Mm. The present is a gift. And I think we're either living in the past, which is depression, or the future, which is anxiety. Oh, you're, boy, you're, no, you're spot on. I, I don't disagree with any of that. And let me clarify Deepak Chopra. I think the guy means well. I just think that I, I don't want to go too deep into it. <laughs> Deepak. I, I, <laughs> I, but no, I say, I say his name almost every one. time on the golf course. If I go over the green, if I hit a shot, and a common thing in golf is that's deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, weird, I'm like, that's Deepak Chopra because I just keep going. I get it. Just like when it's out of bounds, it's OB. It's, okay. OB, it's OBGYN. OBGYN, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah. I've got one, yeah. um, Michael Bland. Do you, know who that, do you know who that is? The uh, the big drummer of I've the MPG. Yeah. yeah, Michael Bland. Yeah. So whenever anything tastes like crap, I'm like, wow, this is really Michael Bland. That, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've that's t- mine. Yeah, I've, we've talked about Michael Bland. Have we? He, I love he, him. He wanted my hairdresser because he liked my haircut. He's great. Yeah. He's absolutely And great. then I texted him because he gave me his number. So I could connect, and I text him after Prince died, and I, I guarantee he's like, he didn't respond. He's probably like, who's because I was like, God, sorry, man. You yeah, know? yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. uh, keep going. This is yeah, good. Yeah, uh, another thing, it treats PTSD, depression, anxiety, because what it does is it accesses like you are kind of like you said, shutting off that monkey mind or that yeah, working yeah, brain, yeah. and it's meant to access deep emotional trauma, which a lot of people avoid breath work or therapy for that reason. But the cool thing that I personally do in therapy is when emotions and trauma come up, I do breath work through it. Mm. It's almost like you're feeling the emotions and then releasing them so they don't feel the way they used to. Does that make sense? Like you can't change your past, but you can change the way you feel about your past. It, hey, listen, it's 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 kind of like a version of releasing toxins yeah. of sorts. It's a detox of sorts for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm I'm down. Well, and and a lot of times I'll think of, for example, um, I'll try to exhale completely. Have you ever tried to exhale all of the air from your lungs completely, totally? I don't know. Never. Because I I think about it as old air, old stagnant air, because and then you take a big deep breath full of brand new oxygen. It's just a feeling of rejuvenation, to me at least. So I'll think about that with intention. How do you feel about um, combining this do those places still exist, the oxygen bars? Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm sure about? they do, yeah. I think so. Benefit or bullshit. Yeah, we should do that. Benefit or bullshit. I'm writing that one down, brother. <laughs> Let, definitely let's do o2, that. O2, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. O2, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see why you couldn't. Uh, I think it's one of the reasons I sleep pretty good most of the time is I, I think unconsciously without ever being told to do this, I think my breathing changes when I lay down and I'm relaxed. Sure. I, like I, I'm probably walking around in a state of anxiety and you know, whatever. <laughs> right. And even if I don't feel it in the moment, I think it just over, over overrides. Yeah. And then when I'm laying in bed, I'm like, okay, I'm my mind's anxious, or it could be when I lay down. And even despite the fact that I go on YouTube or I read, I find a way to kind of relax. This is good because I I'm gonna do, practice this while I'm sitting at my desk or I'm yeah in the car. <clears throat> I think that's a great idea. Have you ever heard of the the term grounded? Or I'm grounding myself? When I was a kid, my parents were not very good disciplinarians, so I was rarely grounded. They said I was a lot. That's but not what I was talking oh, about. Oh, what did you mean? I, I do like where your head's at, though. That's yeah. cute. Being grounded to your room, not having, you know, like you don't get candy or your computer. Yeah. But in the metaphysical or spiritual sense, energetically, being grounded means being present to your body. Oh, so I don't know. that's the you thing. Have, like when there's I have a lot no of, idea where you're going with When there's this, a so. lot of anxiety, when yeah. there's a lot of energy going yeah. on, yeah. You know, we say get grounded, and that means starting to breathe and get in your, feel your body, feel yourself in yeah, this moment yeah, right now. Yeah. And that's what grounding is. Mm. Yeah. So, what if, what if you don't like presence. your body? Well, you should probably do some self love work okay. and some, some shit talk, self hating inner talk work. Okay. Yep. So, okay. You don't I like your body, ref- Jay? I wasn't, I wasn't talking <laughs> about me. Hey, but you know what? Can we, <clears throat> I'll keep going. This is good. Okay. I, 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 want, I, want, uh, so, I want more. Right. So people in China, India, Tibet, Japan, like 3,000, 2,700 BCE is when this stuff was first kind of written down as a practice. So anyway, it is. It's, uh, it's intentional, immediate relaxation. No, the, There are some other ways of breathing too. Such as? So we talked about the abdominal. 
There's also the four, seven, eight. Remember I was telling you to breathe in for four and then hold for seven seconds. Counts. Yeah. Breathe in for four seconds, hold for seven, and then long, deep exhale for eight seconds. So, so I'm, I'm nose four. I'm breathing in my nose for four seconds, holding it for seven, and then out through my mouth for eight. Yeah, I, well, I got to do this alone. That's too exactly. weird. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. And that's meant to just do an intentional pause. I think I should do this on a first date. There you go. Anyway. <laughs> hey, you might catch a good well, one. Especially if you, if you meet and you don't want a second. <laughs> there you go. Anyway. Do you want to do some breath work together? <laughs> hey. Um, alternating nostril breath work. What? Yep. Check this out. See, but so you hold one. You hold one. And this is for balancing. This is like a balancing thing. So you inhale and exhale out of the same nostril. And then inhale, exhale, and then switch. I, you know, I wonder if I shouldn't go see a, your nose throat doctor because I have one nostril that's perpetually blocked. I'm sorry to hear Semi, that. Semi. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that's probably an issue, right? Probably, that's not yeah, normal. I would get that checked out. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah. I just live with it. Yeah. So ENT, baby. So one, I'm sorry, one nostril. One nostril, inhale, exhale, and then switch. Yeah. So that's meant to be balancing. And that's that takes your mind I, off I of monkey mind. I got a feeling mind. that Charlie Sheen's probably a pro at that yeah you're absolutely right more than like that that you don't need to edit out that that's, was a good one i'll leave that one that's in. a good one yeah uh and then the last one is called fire breath and what it's meant to do is actually is that engage, me sunday morning engage yeah exactly i'm sure your your date would really love your fire breath afterwards if you did have a second date or a third date or I way. don't even have a date, no dates? let alone two dates no to necessitate dates? having a relationship. Keep going. <laughs> so a fire <laughs> breath would be exhaling out of your nose at a fast rate. Oh. And what that is, is kind of like a, a steady rhythm is what you're okay. trying to do. So and you're instead of doing it's like it a here, puppy. instead of doing it here, you're doing it here with your abdominals. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And, it, and it's it's meant to engage your core. And it actually heats up your body. It heats up your core temperature. That's why it's called the breath of fire. So these are some breath techniques that you can take and do immediately right now to relax on, and balance on the and way renew home. yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I do breath work on the way here every single time. Really? Yeah. To get myself intentionally set. <laughs> Have you, you seen the Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Of course. The Sausage King of Chicago, you know, when they're in the restaurant. And the, the maitre d', the host, doesn't believe that he's the sausage king of Chicago. <laughs> and then the, and then he has, uh, what's her name call. And you know, they make it look like then the guy just backpedals and he's all apologetic. And, and then uh, Ferris goes, it's understanding that lets people like us tolerate a person like yourself. Uh-huh. It's breath work that allows Kitty to tolerate me. That's exactly. That's I love that analogy. <laughs> That's a good, you I put, had somewhere you I was put going column with A yeah. and column yeah. B together. Thank you. That punchline was worth it's, it. it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. That's what I do. Bueller. No. Bueller. No. I love it. Anything more? What else? I mean, what else? Well, it is. It's the intentional direction of your breath. It's called pranayama. Prana meaning so, breath. I don't have to know that to do Yama it. Yama meaning control. Yeah. Nope, but it is. It's called pranayama. Yeah. Controlling your breath with intention and yeah. awareness. It yeah. brings you to a grounded present space in your body. Yeah. I love it. Dan, do you do any breath work? You familiar? Yeah. Yeah, I do a, I do br- uh, a lot of breath work. Um, you Wim do? Hof. Yeah, I Wim do. Hof. Yeah. Not a boy. Yeah, I follow his program. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. Good for you. Did you have a my story that you wanted to share? Yes. Oh, I do. My story at powerblock.com. Yeah, if what you is do my story? Have, if you have any benefits, if you have any any cool things that have happened to you or anything that you want to share about utilizing power blocks, please let us know. Send your story to my story at powerblock.com. It can be completely anonymous. We don't need your name, but we absolutely would love to share your story so that people understand that power block really freaking rock you know and, and we and actually we're, i'm getting a lot more that don't have names and some do some don't this one doesn't and um yeah that's it's not about that no it's okay know? that's fine in fact i've, sa- I've said before this is probably why they're coming this way without names because i'm like look you if you put blah 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 blah, blah i mean i'm not I'm not gonna read it all anyway i'm not gonna go kitty truex <laughs> and or wherever you're from uh, what, what city northeast minneapolis yeah, originally no i know but where you live now victoria 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 Chan my story I love my power blocks I dusted them off during COVID added a kettlebell to my arsenal and moved to a warmer climate good for you sign me up <laughs> well, should have gave your name and address if you need a roommate let me know I take them out back I sometimes go to the park with them but if I bring my dog he sometimes pees on them 
I can totally see this. I my friend's got a dog who would do totally do that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for making working out so much easier. That's it. Hey. Yeah. And now you have your dog's DNA all up on those power blocks. You gotta bring like the Lysol and the in the paper hey, towels. They're easy to clean too. I <sighs> dig it. Anything else I should, you know, so do, could you do a recap? Of course. So f- specifically for me, not because I'm self-centered, but because I'm here and we're talking about breath work, which I don't do, and you're the expert at it. I wouldn't say that. Well, okay. I just have experience. You're a, an aficionado sure. of, of breath work. Where I'm an w- advocate. What would, an advocate. Where would you recommend I start? Like can, on the drive home, what would you recommend? Just I would recommend me. abdominal breathing to start. Yeah, okay. Or just being intentional with four counts in with breath, four counts out with breath. Even if you're not doing it yeah. in your abs, just being intentional and grounded, and then it, right? And then do you recommend like an online resource or a book? I mean, we asked Zico this, but like, is, is there... Do you, is there, there is a book called Breath. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head who wrote it, but it is a phenomenal book that I have read yeah. called Breath. And it pretty much gives the scientific background of why we as humans deserve to give ourselves the gift of breath yeah, uh, and why slowing down and being present and intentional with it really has I a mean, myriad of benefits. When you, when you think about There's it. There's not a con. I have not found a con, P.S. Well, when you think about it, it, it is, it, it's, okay, how can I say this? It is the one thing that, that it's so important to life. It's essential. You can't, it's, we exactly. can't live without it. Yep. That it's so important that we don't have to think about it to do it. Yes. We've, we wouldn't have evolved if we wouldn't, if it wouldn't be just, uh, you know, without thinking right. in your sleep, you yes. don't have to, you know, I've, you know, I've given, I have some friends that sometimes do stupid things. Your body's I, an amazing miracle and, and I, you don't I've, have to think about breath. And I've, you know, I've went down that. I'm like, dude, I don't know how you breathe, you know, cause you get my, the joke on that. Yeah, it's yeah. like, cause you're, you don't have to think about it. So yeah. Dude, I don't know how you breathe. <laughs> well, no, it's like, you're so stupid that I get it. That you, yeah. I'm surprised that waka you have, waka. yeah, whatever. Wow. That's kind of mean to say to well, that's, somebody. That's Jeez. what guys do sometimes. Is that, what's that guys? It's a bro thing. I've hey, I'll, bro down. Here we go. I've, I think I've said on other podcasts. If I'm not, if I'm not gadflying you, I don't like you. So there you go. All that, right. You know. Do you know what gadfly is? No. Yeah, look it up. Okay. <laughs> I sure will. In fact, I should start the podcast that way. I'm my, I'm Jason Lindsay Gadfly and Kitty Truax. What could we call her? What, what, what adjective? Right. Harmonizer. There you go. There. Okay. I'm Kitty the Harmonizer. I'm Jason the Gadfly. Okay. Fantastic. Any other breath techniques? Anything else? Nothing that I want to share. Uh, but I do know that it, it does provide a, a mindset uh, how long and a mood we, shift. How long are we at, Dan? 26. So one, one more thing. Okay. In, in, I don't think you covered this. Can you, what, what about when you're exercising? Sure. Is there anything there we should be thinking about well, that, that, some pe- that most people aren't? Okay, so yoga, right? What about I, lifting I weights? Okay, lifting weights. It, you could absolutely lift, inhale, yeah, yeah. and let yeah, it down, exhale. Yeah, if yeah. you wanted to connect your breath within your movement yeah. that's meditation times a thousand that's fantastic i think you should try there that's something you're already doing that you can then just be more intentional and be more present to your body and your breath this is good i like this so is it how many times do you exercise and think about everything else except for what you're doing in I, your exercise i yeah i've never thought about breathing yeah or do you think i don't about, even think know, about breathing when i run and that's something that you probably I mean oh you know. running and breathing I'm not a huge runner, yeah. but I, I'm a rebounder. Yeah. And I know that my runner's high comes from the rhythm of my breath. The inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And it's rad. I mean, talk about, uh, talk about a high. Night. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's how I get one. Yeah. Was it the barge? Rhythm of the night? The, na, 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 the rhythm, rhythm of, of the night. Breath. Yeah. Rhythm, rhythm of the, of the breath. breath. He just did that, didn't he? Did he debarge me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Got it on the record. Of the... <laughs> hey, I got one more thing. What? If you dig this podcast, you should probably review it. Yeah, you know that. Th- I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad I did too. So <clears throat> we want you, we'd like you. And you, and you. Anybody listening to go review on uh, specifically Apple Podcasts. If you have an iPhone, it's super easy to do. If you don't have an iPhone, it takes a little bit of effort, um, I guess for lack of a better term. It might take you, I don't even... I don't know the instructions, but I know that you. It's a lot easier if you have an Apple. Phone. That is true. So yes, but there's a way to do it if you don't. And uh, why do we want to review, Kitty? Well, because that actually helps other people to find us. Yeah, it helps us to know what we're doing right, or if you want to give us a, a legit review, what we're doing wrong. What What do you want to see? How can we make it better for I mean, you, if, the listener? If you have your feedback is super priceless. Just like anything, we're only going to keep doing this podcast 
if uh, people listen. And thankfully they do. But like anything, you know, people come and go, whatever. And sure. we, we, we need it to grow and grow and grow. And it's only going to grow uh, if you are out there going, hey, you should give these guys a go. Yeah. If you want us to grow, then let us know with a rad review on Apple iTunes. Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts, iTunes. Is it the same thing? Same thing. It is? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So much I know. Boom shakalaka. What is that? Is that you want to sit the five? Yeah. Yeah. You got to make sure you get that plugged right, in there, So too. you can plug that, Kitty. What's that? I would love to plug that. There's a promo code. Thank you for... If, Thanks for reviewing and thanks for making it through this podcast. Your present, your gift right now is a promo code that you are getting just from listening to this episode. So if you go to powerblock.com and type in promo code 5MTJD22, you get 5% off. of That's the number five followed by the letters MTJD, which is more than just dumbbells, right? So five more than just dumbbells than the number 22. What's the 22 stand for, Dan? Um... The year. 2022. Oh. That's what I thought, too. I was yeah. like, oh. I thought maybe Five it was. 5 MJTD 22. Oh, MTJD. Blah, yeah, it blah. stands for how old I am. I'm is that what it is? Yeah. Double deuces? Yeah. Please. So that's your promo code. Thank you for supporting, for sharing, for subscribing, for being a part of the Power Block squad. We're honored to be sponsored by Power Block. Check out powerblock.com for the world's best adjustable dumbbell. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. We'll see you next week.